like I know you, then uh, I don't need to know everybody. I just know you. <laughs> because you know everybody. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's I'm everybody. I'm easy that way. I just know John, John P. Then I know everybody. I know you. I know I know Nez. Super Dave. Super Dave. So I know everybody. I know you Susie three. B. I know everybody else. Susie B. I'm good. I could, I, know, I know everybody now. Yeah, Susie B knows everybody. Yeah, yeah. I know you three or four. There's three or four John Boy. There's three or four of you guys. I know all you guys. I'm good to go. Johnny Peppers. <laughs> yeah, Johnny Peppers. You know them. You're good to go. You know everybody. Well, Johnny, yeah. You know all the good people. That's what counts. That's right. Yeah. I saw your post to, about George today. Yesterday. Right. I saw it today. George is a, George has been appreciating. George is appreciating all the love. A lot of people sending him love. So that's cool. Wonderful. He was down in Chile. Yeah, on the mountains. He's been down in Chile on the mountains. George has been down in Chile. Absorbing in all that love from everybody. He's Absorbing the love, he says. Good. He's feeling good. Chile is Chile Chile is amazing. Do you know I have a friend from there and he's big hearted. Very big hearted. Uh, from the YouTube, he's a detector. Uh, he's called Talka Talka Detector. He's a good friend of mine. Oh, wow. He's almost uh, one thousand k. I just did a post on him. Um, I don't know, maybe yesterday or the day before. I'm not sure. So I'm a little bit stiff today, guys. How's um, your tobacco? Because that'll help my tobacco you. brother is the first batch. I I put it. Um, I'll I'll show you. Okay. Uh, the tobacco didn't grow yet. The tobacco right. is yeah. here. Look. Right. That's why ours is ours. We've been waiting for ours to sprout for weeks. We still have nothing yet. It's okay. Tobacco. This is my tobacco here. Can you see? Yeah, kind of. I don't know. How to Sorry, use this. guys. Okay, here it is. Can you see that dark thing over there? Yeah. There it is. Okay. It is. Uh, but I gave a little bit to a friend of mine because he's a um, he's a agricultural guy. Right. Okay, so yeah. I think none of this is the tobacco because can you see the leaf is kind of a uh, cut it. And tobacco leaf is round, right? Uh, let's see. It could be a week, but it takes a long time. And it could come up next week. Or yeah, but I don't think this is... this is, um, Guys, I did a big thing. I did a, a screw-up, uh, Matt. I used um, a, a, a soil from my... That I had in, a, in one of these vases outside. Okay. And um, yeah, I have I to buy some soil, some good soil, you know. Well, you just yeah, the weeds. it pull out the weeds. But uh, whenever they do come up, they kind of like uh, last year, what we noticed, they all grow at the same time. So it kind of looks like it's moss growing up. So. Okay, yes, exactly. And, and it's too cold still here. So I think the first little bit I put there, it died. And this is no, just wild, no, no, some dead. wild it's not uh, dead. herbs. It ain't dead. It takes a while. We're it still, takes a we're while. Still we're still waiting ourselves. Months. It usually takes about a week or months. It just and it just needs to stay moist with the cover of it. Just keep them steady. Two weeks from now, or a month from now. Two weeks, a month. Literally, they're they're like twenty seven to older before they could start to sprout. It's like they oh, got okay. a little brain in their own little head that says, now's the day. <laughs> yeah, but it's been very it? cold. It's been very cold, Matt. It's still it, right. it's I don't still think fun. nothing grows here in, with that, you know. Yeah. Not yet. No, so I'm going to wait until it's I'm like uh, spring and warm. You know, that first week that it's warm, really warm, like 20 degrees mm. Celsius. It's too cold yeah. yet, so. So I'm I'm gonna wait now yeah. because as long as you I, got I it inside, it's fine. It's fine. As long as it's not freezing where you have it, it's fine. It'll That'll come. be just Hopefully fine. They yeah, they will come. Yeah. They will at least sprout for you. So you at least got something for you. 
Yeah, so and just, and uh, I've given I've going. given a little bit a little bit to a friend of mine. Um, cool. and he said he's gonna wait. He said, uh, "Don't." He said to me, "Don't start growing yet because you need to investigate." And I was like, "Oh, I know." But then I told him, oh, "I already uh, put a little bit of seed on the on the vase." Good job. But it's been raining. It's been cold, right and thing. I'm not. I think it just killed the seeds i'm not sure yet no because it gets no. old you, know? you haven't killed the seeds yet no. put positive energy in them seeds they're gonna do good but they got their spirit of tobacco tobacco is a spirit just put positive energies in them they'll love you just you can't deny them as long as they haven't froze they're good they're good they're all good okay. like where wherever you put it if it didn't freeze right there, the top of that thing didn't freeze. Well, actually, the top could freeze, but the bottom, as long as they're good, that's all that matters. You know, as long as the oh, seeds Matt, themselves didn't freeze, they're doing good. I, I think that's I it. screwed up because I nope. think I did oh. um, a little hole and I put all the seeds inside, like on the same spot. And that's fine. Yeah. Maybe later on, I, I, it could have closed the hole. Hey, so I'm not what sure do, do what surface. some people do. What some people do is get a full pod and plant that. So all those seeds in one pod, they could put it in one part of the ground and one will grow out of it. So I mean, okay. there's no wrong way to try to get them started. There's no wrong way. They all, they'll grow. It just you gotta be able to There's baby them. Positive energy. Positive energy. You're good at it, John P. Put it in there. They need it. Trust them. They need your trust and faith and your help. <laughs> They're still there. I haven't done anything, but I'm Good. gonna get Good. some nicer soil, and I'm gonna, Good. I'm gonna do it when it's really warm because I think it needs warmth, right? As long as they're in your in your house, that's it. As long as they're in the house, they get a little bit of daylight throughout the day. Actually, they don't even need daylight. They could be just kept in a dark place with a cover over them and a nice warm area. That's it. That's all they would care about when they're sprouting. It's just a nice dark hole where they can stay warm and sprout. That's it. We've been waiting. And stay moist. We've been waiting, what, We've been waiting for like three weeks or four. two to three weeks now. I don't know about a four now. I don't know about we four. Still ain't got we we still ain't got nothing yet. They're not even trying to sprout yet. And it's under. No. And it's the way they're supposed to be. That it takes – at least a month before they actually start to sprout, before they think about sprouting. Yeah, the greatest thing. So the greatest interesting, thing. man. Very interesting. Tell them this: the greatest thing. Tell them one plant. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. The greatest thing is all you need is one plant. One. Only one plant. You'll never. Ever You'll need never any need any more forever. again forever. The seeds. That seeds and put it on the ground, gorgeous. and it will grow very big. Believe me. One, That's right. One plant. One. one plant. One fish, catch yourself a bluegill. Put it underneath that plant. You, you got the biggest 15 foot tall tobacco plant you'll ever see in your life. Seeds, you have pods and seeds and hummingbirds you all flying around everywhere. They love the flowers on the tobacco. You, you, it's going to be a glorious. Tobacco is glory. <laughs> it's going to be good, man. You just you see, need yesterday I caught, I caught a butterfly. Next to a dump, what and I know I don't know. I'm not yeah. sure if you saw that. Yeah, we, part. Saw that. we saw that. We saw that. We that saw was awesome. That. We saw Beautiful that butterfly. Water. It was just flat on the ground, just brought open, and you just like turned. Yeah. And there he was. And then <laughs> after a little while, I looked at it, and it came in my direction. And when I noticed, there were two of them. So one of them was in front. The other one I didn't know. And one of them went like towards the, the one that was on the ground, maybe touched it, and both of them went like in my direction and then went up and flied away. Mm. It was really, really crazy. That was awesome. Like, they wanted to see. scare me or or um play with me in a while in a way, you know? Yeah. That's for energy. There was on your information. The transfer of information, Dad wanted to say. Yeah. Oh, on the camera view, I actually saw two more that flew in the camera view above you or something like that. Yeah. Two more flew above you. And then those two, I guess, was near you. 
<laughs> but, yeah, those but two was one of them was the one on the ground, and the other one I didn't see it. So they 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 I think butterflies usually they go on pairs, you know, a male and a female, and um, yeah. and possibly they were catching some sun, you know. There it was a very shady area, you know, a shaded area. So they were catching some sun, but. I'm I'm yeah. over there and I look to the side and I see like a butterfly and I'm like what? Very weird. Did you saw uh, the eagle yeah. as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw that. Yeah, we saw the eagle. We saw the yeah, eagle. The, the eagle ate a white pigeon. I was a bit I was a bit sad there, but it's it's yeah. it's nature, you know. It's Mother Nature. She's a uh, gruesome. <laughs> yeah, and they're hungry. Nature is hungry, right? Yeah, nature likes to tear themselves apart. <laughs> yeah, because they like to eat the best parts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, 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 when I when I saw the eagle running away, like flying away, straight away I knew it was something weird because it wasn't normal for the eagle to be on the ground, you know? Not yeah. on the ground. And mm -hmm. then I see that white feathers and I'm like, what the hell is that white stuff? And I just focused a little bit and I know straight away it was feathers and I knew that I interrupted the meal of the eagle. Basically. Oh. So it, it, it ripped bird? off the legs and the tail, and oh. um, and it flew away with the uh, with the meaty part to eat it on the other side of the um, of the clearing. It picked it up, flew away with it. Uh, I went back afterwards at the end, and and uh, the, the eagle didn't come back for the rest of the food. Mm. Yeah. Hey, you know. <laughs> That's a happy eagle. <laughs> Got I'm not sure if it was an eagle. It could be a falcon, you know, one of the, those yeah. uh, 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 birds of prey. Yeah. yeah. Raptors. Raptors. <laughs> I also had a, a, con a, a contact with a dog on my second live at the end of the afternoon. Oh, wow. Um, you, you should check it out, guys, because... I, I started going down the hill towards a clearing and I started hearing the barkings of a dog. But I thought the dog was far away. I didn't see anything. When I get down to the clearing, the dog comes out of the brush and uh, it, it was like confronting me, Matt. It was like running towards me. And when, it start, when I noticed that it was running towards me and barking, I did like, <laughs> yeah, and it stopped <laughs> and it started smelling the ground around him. And I said, stay there. And I started walking where I came from up the hill again. And uh, when I looked back, it was already inside the brush. So it could have maybe baby doggies. It could have been a, a female. Yeah, it could be protecting With, our dogs, pups. Yeah. Or, or, or it could just live there and be from, uh, you know, the owners of the land or, or the houses nearby. I don't know. But uh, it was a good, a good, good experience of respect. Yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, very cool. So and I, so, I'm completely wasted today, guys. I slept all morning, and. Oh. Um, I slept all morning, man. I, I went to bed mm -hmm. quite late as well. I went to bed. It was uh, 5 a.m. Oh, so 5 for me, midnight for you. Yeah. Right? Uh, 5 a.m. is like... No, here it's 4 now. 4 oh, it's 4 p.m. for you? Okay, yeah. so it's 12 o'clock here. Okay, so 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 hours. So you're four not hours. the 5 hours normal, you're the 4 hours. It's it's It depends on your meridian. Yeah. Well, our time just changed on us, so we didn't like that. 
Like uh, oh, our, it time, does, our time. Our time moved forward. You lost an hour, or uh, it went forward an hour. So yeah, okay. we lost an hour. We lost an hour. Yeah, uh, yeah. We don't change our clocks here at the house. We just leave it at the old time. It's eleven oh nine, eleven oh six for us, you know. But everybody else is at twelve oh six. Like the phone right here, it says twelve oh six. We're like, nah, no, nah, we're going to keep it at eleven o'clock. That works better for us. It makes us feel better too because you know everybody's having to feel rush. <laughs> but, exactly. You need to sleep a little bit. Is my camera yeah. freezing? No, no, yours is working. It won't surprise me. Mine, this one's probably not doing so hot. But no, mine is mine just froze over here, and yours as well. Oh, yeah, audio is good. It's coming in clear, so it's a. Uh, I see you playing out. Yeah, I see you moving a lot, so it's not like it's pit putting or anything. Oh, I so hope I hope this didn't um, ruin the um, because we're using Streamyard. Okay. Uh, but yeah. we're not doing a live. We're just doing a, you know, a normal talk. Yeah. But um, but if you guys want to talk about something, we can um, we can talk about um, the message from George. Right. Whatever you want to talk a little bit, and if you guys want, we can uh, do a premiere on this. You know, you know what? It's a premiere. What's that? Oh, a premiere. Do a premiere. premiere it's like, uh, I don't know, uh, at uh, nine o'clock at night, I put this live, our talk live, and we just hang out in the chat with the people, answer questions, whatever we talked. Everybody, when we premiere, that, we answer the questions on the chat because we cannot answer them live. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. Here, Here. anything Here. Uh, you know? Uh, that's uh, we 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 have only for now. We only talked. You know, uh, it doesn't matter really if it's private or not. But uh, we haven't talked anything really. Oh, I talked a little bit about my passing away of my friends, but that's public information already. So we had conversations this morning. We could talk about those that are we've talked to. George this morning, and we've talked to Scott this morning, and we talked to Scott's hanging out with a uh, Scorpion King now. Uh, Scorpion King, they work for God, and uh, yeah. there's a story behind all that. We could talk about all that too. You wanna, you wanna start a new one, and we'll start there. Wh wherever yeah. uh, we can, we can talk uh, about the, your post you did on George. Oh, we're talking about Scott. Okay, sorry. Scott, George, oh, and uh, Scorpion, Scorpion start King. Start wherever you want. I just told you that because I saw your post and uh, I I noticed, uh, you know, maybe um, George has something to say, you know? Yeah, he did. And we can he's talk up there about on, it. He's up on a mountain in Chile enjoying it, enjoying everybody's love. He sees, he, he felt, he feels all the positive energy everyone's sending him. Yeah, but he's thinking of leaving the planet, right? Well, yeah, but uh, what did he say? He's kind of like... He's, you know, uh, following the spirit, so the spirit's kind of telling him to hold back, so since the spirit's telling him to hold back, he might stick around a little bit longer type of deal. He hasn't had his doors open up up there yet, so he's uh, staying closed up there and sticking around down here. Yeah, so he's hanging yeah, with us. Him here. He's just trying to make sure he's at the right connection of hearts with us all around. You know? Yeah. Wonderful. That helped him out a lot, having a lot of people pray for him and, you know, they sending helped him hugs. That helped yeah. him a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Did you know that I've, I've just seen... um. Uh, uh, a tree with 500 years. An ancient old tree. 
uh, uh, I'm still here, okay? Uh, uh, I'm, I've, I've just taken the, the camera out just for a few minutes and I'll, I'll put it back in a minute. You know why? Because the connection is better without the camera. I do notice it. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and he's hang, hanging out with, uh, with, uh, with the scorpion. Yeah, Scorpion okay. King. Well, Scott's hanging out with the Scorpion King. Yeah. I don't know if you, I told you already, Tennessee, but um, I've um, I found some um, 11. some pertinent information that does coincide with your information you gave us about uh, the underground and how um, Bigfoot goes to the underground kind of uh, in a way to relax and have his holidays. You know what I mean? What we were talking? Yeah. The fact that um, uh, he doesn't uh, get uh, harmed there. Um, they can play pretend um, destruction to each other, you know, and everything's good. It's just a way to kind of empty your, your head, you know, of the bad energies. Right. So you go there and you leave the energies there the yeah. extra energies so that when you come back you, it's kind of a holiday right 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 place to vacation vacate yep. yourself vacate and uh, i've um i've 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 heard from uh, um you know some a friend of mine uh of the ufo channel that she's told me that you know, she's told me something close to that about mm. the underground. Yeah. So I wanted to talk to you. I wanted to tell you that. Yeah. As well. Let me, let me, let me, let me tell you, let me tell you something about the veil. The uh, before, before that, before there was a veil, we used to all be able to see the spirits. And so there was no death, and everybody knew that, and uh, there was no fear of death. And uh, but what happened was, people forgot to care, or they forgot how to love and care because they never had no loss. And so God put the veil up, uh, so that we would have loss. And so now, that's why now we learned that He had to teach us how to love again. And so now. Um, uh, the veil might be coming down like it used to be. Um, yeah. and the veil is between your left and right brain. It's kind of like, uh, that connection is some people have it on more than others. They can see spirits. They can see already the spirit side. So they know there's no death, but, uh, more and more of us that should clear out. Uh, the connection between the left and right brain, which that's that's where the, that's where I think the veil's at. Um, and like this coming up this month with the uh, eclipse, um, there should oh, be yes. more and more people uh, able to see everything. Does that make sense? Yep. But uh, that's uh, that's the that's there's your history on the veil. You know, Matt got that reading yesterday. Who gave you that reading, that George? Interesting, yeah. very interesting. Yeah, because I mean, God had to put a veil up because we forgot to love because we had no loss, right? You never lost anybody because if because you could see the spirits, and so they would just, I guess, take another form or something at that time. So we never, but we forgot to we, like I said, we since we didn't, we kind of forgot how to love. He had to teach us how to love again by we had to have loss. So. That's why you had to separate us from the spirit world so we can't see the spirit world. But now that we've learned to love again, it's time to probably take away that it's a lie. You know, there is a spirit world. We just can't see it. So 
is going to take away that veil so that uh, I guess we'll be back where we were before. Nice one. So that's, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Yeah. The uh, Now, the uh, uh, Scorpion King, um, he's in the Bible. You can read in Revelations 9, and it talks about the Scorpion King. And Matthew this morning was describing how it's have its hoof, it has hoofs and it, it's able to climb. And right now, let me let me try not to get ahead of myself. The so in Revelation nine, you'll read about the Scorpion King. Now, the Scorpion King is like God's spies, and what he does, he he, if your family is fighting or negative energy, or he'll come in and intensify that because it's about trying to get you to um, either you know to learn and to uh, It'll just intensify that so you'll learn to deal with it. Come back to love, right? Come back to love. And uh, okay. yeah, like I have a friend that uh, got stung by this, you know, the Scorpion King. And now that guy has uh, most, uh, multiple sclerosis, MS. Yeah. Uh, because that, that disease was put on him to help him to return to himself. And focus so, on his own focus self. on his own self. Nope. And, yep. Uh, that and happens so he, a lot, Tennessee. I do see that happening. It yeah. happens to me as well. I do feel it. Yeah. And so, anyway, he's... Uh, so, Scott went and uh, found that Scorpion King, and he chased him from Kentucky to West Virginia, and he beat the crap out of the Scorpion King. And then the Scorpion King got to talking to George. And then George got to talking to Scott. And, real, and Scott realized, you know, the Scorpion King works for God. And so Scott realized, oops, he made a mistake. But now him and the Scorpion King are friends now. And the, yep. Scorpion, King, the Scorpion King's been showing him how to you know, the Scorpion King's a master at hiding and being secretive. And uh, he's been showing, uh, so Scott's been hanging out with Scorpion King, learning learning from the professional, <laughs> one of God's uh, spies, how to uh, move around. He can go through, they went through, what you said it was Ohio, they went through Cincinnati. Ohio, and they go through a building, and they're going in one window, and they go out the other window, but you can't see them. The uh, Scorpion King, his his wings are purple, all these different colors, and in the middle of his back, between the wings, there's was it a water? A water drop. He's got a w drop of water there that he vibrates, and it and and you won't be able to see him. And so he's been teaching Scott now, Scott. If you take your, he was telling us this morning, if you take your hands and you put it like down in water and it, you, I'm trying to remember how you said it. Your energy ball into your palm. You put your energy ball into the palm. And then whenever your energy ball gets into your palm, the water will form within it. And then you're able to pick it up and you have an energy ball around this water that you're holding. So now you got that, and you can float, levitate, do a lot of things, and many people can't see it, and stuff like that. Now using that water bottle, like, you like vibrate, don't you, or something, so yeah, that you're you not. Vibrate. So you can. So he's learning to travel and and be hidden by doing that kind of stuff. Yeah, he's able to move around. Like right, that. With vibrations, frequencies, like the magic carpet ride, but with the ball of water in your palm, and you could be sitting down, and you can fly anywhere. See, okay, I know what you mean. I understand. Yeah, and see, that's, and like I was telling you, coming up this month, we're having this energy come in, creativity, and a lot of people will be kind of the veil will be uh, lowered. And when it, or I guess you can say it's going to be less of a veil, the, uh, it's going to be in the water. This light that's coming down is going to the water. And then when you drink the water, uh, when you take in the water, <laughs> that was true. You, uh, you bring, you take in the water. Okay, before you take in the water, 
and this water will have a connection to the uh, conscious light or the the new energy light frequency that's coming through. You know, the water will be washed and cleansed by that. And then you recognizing that you're being washed and cleansed by the new frequency light that's coming through, it'll decalcify yourself, decalcify everything that's within you. And if anything that. that's impure in the water will be decalcified. Anything in you will be decalcified. But it can't be done till you drink the water and you accept and know the water has been cleansed by the energy first before you drank it. And then yourself, all the negative things, all the things that you couldn't see, everything will be decalcified and things will open up to you. Just buy a glass of water. That's coming up this That's month. Coming, well, it's just been going on lately. And it's just coming, the information is finally coming out because there's more realization of people doing this. That's why I'm here right now. Okay. Take nice. water. Understand yeah, it. So you could do it right now, John P. And uh, you'd be decalcified by the water. <laughs> Accepting and knowing that the water is getting deep calcified itself and then you drink it and you know that you're being decalcified yourself i just heard from what uh, you know something from jesus says what you believe will be you know so you believe in good things good things will be believe in bad yep. things bad things will be so put your eyes on the sparrow you know on the positive on the positive man keep that tobacco growing positively <laughs> it's gonna grow brother i'm just waiting for the for the warm to arrive yeah i want to make sure it's it's it grows really big yeah <laughs> no, it will. It will. so uh let's see the uh so the scorpion king's been hanging out with scott and they've been traveling uh george he was down in uh Costa Rica, what you say was that? Puerto Chile. Rica. Chile, yeah. He's down in Chile. He's hanging out in a mountain and he's receiving all the love. There's a lot of people sending him love and and, uh, and he's enjoying the love and the, and the good energy, the positive energy that a lot of people are sending him. So that's good. He says he's going to go towards Sister Chloe. He's going to go towards Sister Chloe's house. Sister Chloe's house. Yeah, he's going to go visit Sister Chloe. Wonderful, she... wonderful. Yeah. Count me in then. Yeah, Sister yeah. Chloe, right? I knew he's her already. He's asking if you want him to visit you. I uh, like that. Here you go. Of course, I want. He knows my address. He knows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said you he was trying leave to a paper to with my address where he can see it. Heck yeah, just put it in the spirit realm and uh, he'll get it. He already knows it. He already knows where your energy is at generally. So you show him it's where you want like to go. like remote viewing. Exactly. Uh, like remote viewing. Uh, uh, if, exactly. if Scott can see an image of how it is more or less here in my town, he can, yeah, Scott, he can get see, here. See, if Scott was to show up to you, you could physically see him. Uh, George, there's a veil in between our world and his world. That yep. is the reason why we can't see George. God put up a veil in our head or uh, we just, there's a veil in between. Like we can't see spirits is why we can't see George, the giant right now. Because yep. uh, there's a veil in between us. But Scott, that's different. He's actually a physical one. That uh, if he did show up to you, you'll physically see a hairy man that's about ten foot tall. That'll be walking. My around. God! Yeah, yep, yeah, that's Scott for you. Yeah, he's like another human. He got the capability of thought. You know, he's a worker and light like that. So uh, he's just working in the woods. He's a worker in the woods. It's it's like like um, God's servants, right? Yeah. 
Exactly right. Oh, they're working for God. Minding their own business, right? Mm -hmm. That's it. Mind your own business. Do what you what's your business? Your business is your family. Yep. Scott keeps up with his family. He takes care of his family. There's no other business that's any more important or any less important. His family is the only business he cares about. There's no other such thing as business besides family. So he's taking care of business every day. <laughs> taking care of business every way. His family. Wonderful, my brothers. Yeah. Let's see. What else is interesting right now? Uh, we've had so many conversations. We, we forget about all the conversations we have. That's why it's good to talk, you know, talk to you or talk to somebody because we just. It's a lot of stuff and it gets lost, right? It does. It does. And we, you know, we try to share it. I try to write stuff on Facebook. I try to, you know. I do you know. like your posts. I don't, I, 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 uh, on Facebook, I may see them easier because. I'm starting to get a lot of I'm I'm subscribing a lot. So my my channel I I imagine if I want to see you now I have to write your name and go and write Yeah, you have to go straight to me. They, yeah, they don't they don't usually my stuff don't run on the feed cuz I don't want anybody to see my stuff. And so I know that those that those that seek the truth will come. So I don't, uh, it's all about spirit. People that are following the spirit will find the information that yep. they seek. And those that are not following the spirit, because you, like you said, there's a system that's working against the truth. It's not working against the truth. It's just the truth is not for everybody. That if they're not ready for it, you're not going to get it. And I understand that. So a lot of people say, well, you've been shadow banned. I don't care about all that stuff. That doesn't mean nothing. Yep. I, I don't want the truth isn't, you know, you don't show a child how to use a lighter, you know, and they'll, you know, until they're, until they're ready for that truth. Um, exactly. Now I've got one of, I got another thing that I posted that I hid down in the, one of the, uh, I put, sometimes I write information down inside of a post just see who is paying attention. And uh, let me read this one here. Uh, oh, I like that. Reels. Yeah. yeah, I do that. I put stuff because I know that those who are seeking the truth will, the spirit will bring it to them. Now, they'll be brought to this. But let me read this. I'm looking up my thing. Here we go. All right. Okay, not that one. I'm looking for it here. I'm still scrolling in my own. I'm trying to find my own post inside my own post. No worries, brother. We have time. This is uh, being one. taped, but we don't. It's not live, so we, you don't have to worry about anything, brother. I, I don't go need for, to post to, this, okay? To, no problem. To see my own post, I have to go to all comments. <laughs> Underneath my own post. <laughs> <laughs> I even hide my own post from myself. <laughs> okay here he goes you know i said very interesting uh no that's not it i'm still looking for it. i want to read it because i don't want to try to take it from my brain because uh, no worries where the crap is it dude? uh if you don't find it you can you can go through your brains no worries yeah uh I'm making some coffee as well. Let's see. You know, we had elections uh, on too, Sunday. Dude. Yeah, how'd that go? Uh, so basically, the one I voted won. So for the first time, oh, the good. one that I voted won. Wow. That's, um, that's, that's big. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big uh, party as well. So, okay, so here we go. I found the post. You ready? I'll read it. Yep. Okay. The eyes are the windows to the soul. 
don't we use windows to see something on the other side? I think I've heard babies may be born with blue eyes and they change color. Do they get a new soul? Question mark. Our friend Chloe's eyes change color when she's channels. For example, when she channels platin, platadians, platadians, whatever they are, they turn frosty blue. When she channels a Yoda, they turn green. Are we seeing those souls? Question mark. Matt's eyes are all over the charts. Uh, his turn gray, and he's got all kinds of colors of eyes. He, his eyes go all green, blue, and wow. red clones. I've, and I've heard clones have black eyes. I'm just starting oh. to look into this topic. Uh, there's, there's a lot there that I don't understand, but I'm starting to... If you watch Chloe's, you know, Tina's seen her eyes turn green when she, like, uh, when she was channeling the Yoda and then like the platodian or plat platians. <laughs> platians. When she does the platians, they go like frosty blue. But oh. um, right, interesting. Yeah, it's just something to think about. I don't know what it means, but I do believe the. I mean, they always said the eyes are the windows to the souls. Do you know? Do you and know it, the people who have one brown eye and one blue eye? Right. Right. Yeah. There's some stories David about Bowie. those people. Yeah, David Bowie. Uh, we have um, as well abnormal investigations. You know him? Yeah. He's got a, a one eye of different color. Uh, there was a girl that was the do the the sister of a friend of mine. Yeah. She had a she when she was young, she had a very blue eye and another brown eye. It was really crazy. Yeah. Well, like you because said, because they it reminds they me the huskies. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, huskies have like really blue eyes, right? Yeah. Oh, some yeah, of them like have penetrating two colors. Two different colors. Two yeah. color eyes. Yeah, blue and brown. Right. It's like a, a little bit penetrating eyes, right? Right, right, right. They, right. So there's something there. It's interesting. I don't know what it means, but Chloe's will change on demand. She'll be, she'll be, like I said, she'll channel and they'll change. Uh, you know, we're live. It's met meta. They're meta metamorphing. You know, butterflies do it. And yes. that's that's kind of what's that's kind of what I'm understanding. Like coming up this month, we're going to be like the butterfly. We're going to be metamorphing. Is that what it is, Kyle? As uh, okay. as the left, as the connection between the left and the brain gets stronger, people are going to have more energy, like energy they never had before, and they're going to have more creativity. So they're, you know. You know, there's a potential for an explosion of human creativity coming up, right? And all the all the planets are in line with all this too. You know, I don't really study the planets, but the people that do study the planets are seeing all this alignment, you know, in the planets too. Uh, and then all the people that do telepathy and all that stuff, they're they're seeing, you know, like blue energy, like this stuff coming in and and then Matt, he's seeing it coming into the water. And then we take the water and uh, he calls it decalcification, which is probably about the same thing. You know, the connection between the left and right brain, it's through a, uh, I don't even know the word for it. Calcium, it's, there's a connection between the left oh, and right. Course, um, course of the, what is, she's trying to think of the name of it. I, I'll look it up real quick. I think I do uh, understand what you're trying to say. Well, there's a connection between the left and right brain. A lot of people talk about the pineal gland. Yep, uh, I've heard of that. And uh, it's probably right between the left and right, too. It's called the cal calosum or corpus, corpus calcium. 
Corpus C O R P U S. Yeah, look it up sometimes. C O R. No, I've 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 studied that, my brother. I'm an osteopath, oh. remember? Okay, okay. But I, okay. But I don't remember. It's it was long time ago. <laughs> right. M yeah, many yeah. years ago, like. See, Einstein I was twenty. Really big one. Two, Hit? twenty. Okay. All right. Yeah, Einstein, his corpus collapsed, whatever was really big. So he was able to, you know, see clearly, right? Yep. And then autistic people, right star, their connection might not be too big between the left and right, so they end up being very good at music, but can't put on their shoes or socks. You know, they're they've said that, and, and they've done experiments when they could disconnect the left and right brain on like people and cats and stuff. People will be able to read and memorize the entire book, know everything, every single word on every single page, but they won't be able to like put their socks on. Yep. See, there's a, and, and Matt calls it like left and right. Balance being, and equilibrium. Yeah. It's you call it masculine and feminine, or you can also call it love and truth. And truth right. I'm a, I mean, these two would tell you, I'm a Gemini and I'm real crazy that way. When my, when my brain gets connected, I have super creativity, super energy, and it drives these guys nuts because I'm all over the place and I'm always creating and I'm a real crazy person to be around uh, because, but it's fun because I'm, I'm good. And they're like, it's crazy. We'll ride. Because when he's in this state of mind, they both know when I'm in that state of mind that good things happen and uh, the fun's on the way. But it's also very, it seems very crazy, crazy and chaotic because if their, their brains are not, you know, they have, if theirs is not functioning like mine. Then I just, I just, I'm just run away and they like, oh, we just got to hold on. It's kind of like taking a ride on a fast train. You just got to either get on the train or, you know, or get left behind. If you know the train's going to a great place, you jump on it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so it'd be yep. neat seeing seeing people people crank it up here coming up this month um, in the world, and uh, you know, have a nice big human creativity program party going on. I guess. Um, the Tennessee, my my daughter. It's her birthday on the 24th. Uh -huh. She's going to be four years old. And okay. my and me, next month on the 27th is my birthday. So these next months are going to be a bit rough. A bit rough. <laughs> yep, because we got my, 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 my daughter's party that we're going to have to make. Yeah. yeah, so we don't, we don't. I, I don't need yeah. one, but but she will. We don't. We don't do birthdays. We don't do holy days. We don't do any man-made things. But that's us. And so, many years ago, we went against all man things just because they wasn't benefiting us. We don't do Valentine's Day. We don't do. We don't really do anything here. We celebrate like if I'm at the store and I. That'd be like, it's mom's birthday. And so I'll come home and say, happy birthday. Uh, it's your birthday today. We're celebrating it. Um, but that's us. We, Whatever doesn't serve you, you you know, it, you surely really shouldn't let, hold on to it. Birthdays are like. No, I don't. I don't ground myself to that. Yeah. But um, well, I mean, like birthdays is one of those things where you're like, me, I just cringe. I'm like, try. I try to go through my birthday without, you know, because I don't. I don't even. I try not. I try not to realize it's my birthday, because it's like everybody reminding you that you're older, and then it's then they put a number on you, and then you feel exactly. then everyone feels guilty if they don't call you or or wish you a happy birthday. And I'm just like, dude, I don't want nothing to do with that. All that stuff is yucky, you know, yucky. The birthdays to me are yeah. Yucky. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's like yeah. once a year. It's only once a year. But then we have the yeah. Father's Day, uh, the oh, day of the uh, the Woman's Day, 
uh, right. Valentine's Day. Christmas. And we start adding Christmas. Easter. We add them all up. And um, and then they got you running crazy, don't they? That's why we don't do it. Uh, it's so nice. We're so nice here because Christmas comes and we don't think about gifts. We give gifts when we want to give gifts. We don't wait for a day. And uh, so Christmas comes and everyone else is all spending money and worried that they got the right gift and worried about, whoa, so-and-so got me this. I got to get them. Everybody's all in all that. And we just, over, you know, it, it was real hard for years to, to get out of that, that brain game. Took a long time for my brain to let go of that stuff. But uh, you're talking about peace. And uh, so nice now that we don't have to play games. You know, those are games. I don't yeah. like games. I don't like games. I am um, as well, Tennessee. I I started not valuing the holidays as much, uh, the, you know, the bank holidays and things like that. Uh, I don't do the holy. Yeah, they're, because they're, they're holy religious days. or this or yeah. that. They and call they them holy kind of days, but they're holy days. They're man holy days. Yeah. You know. The day of the worker, and then they give the day of the worker, and then you know what they do? They put the supermarkets with a lot of sales and make the young ones that work there work longer shifts. Yeah. Yeah. So that on the day of the laborer, everybody goes to buy food. Look at that. That's stupid, isn't it? It is stupid. We're not, we're not, we're, you know, we're all working. We're all in the People game. People fall like ducks. People yeah. fall like ducks, man. Yeah. Yeah. I hear bales going. Black Friday. There's oh, okay. Another holiday? Yeah. Another recent holiday. <laughs> uh, I, I only went to vote on Sunday because... I had to, I felt this year that because of the government crashing, I had to go vote, but I hadn't voted for maybe 10 years or eight years or 10 or yeah. 12. I'm not sure. I voted one time my entire life and then I unregistered and, and told them I'll never vote again. So I, I, I gave it one shot one time and I'm out. I don't play your games. Like I said, every time I get caught up in these man games, they ain't doing me no good, man. You know what I'm saying? They they get me. You know, politics is left and right brain. You got it's, it's left and right brain. You got left side being let's have no rules, let's have no laws, let's all be free, and then the right says let's have lots of laws and rules and control so that we, you know, it's left and right brain. That's all politics is. Is left the people are playing the left and right brain. It's just. It's horrible. Yeah, they, they even they get you instead of using both brains at the same time, which is a balance. They get you to go left, right. I want to be liberal. I want to be. I want to be. I want control. I want to be free. We need to. You know, it's it's ugh. it's pro it's getting you to continue to stay in a in a in a uh, bad thought pattern. You know, where you're you're you're, you're you're ping pong. You're bouncing back and forth. You're split. Your house is split. Your brain split. You're going to fall because you're not one. You're not. You're not coming to one. They don't want you to come to one. They don't want you to come to a balance. They want you to stay unbalanced. So you know, ugh. confused. Yeah, confused and always chasing left and right brain. You know, yuck. But um, well, you're coming up to about fifty nine minutes and fifty eight seconds. One hour. We're doing good, brother. <laughs> well, I think you, better, you might want to keep it about an hour because you lose people's attention. Oh, of course, attention brother. We can we can just uh, talk a little bit more. Okay. Just to uh, so that I don't miss you as much because I haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen you in a while. Though you know, I like I said I did tune in yesterday, and you were riding your bike, so you were busy. We chatted a little bit in the live. You you went to Look, uh, Tennessee. I only saw you at the end. Yeah, yeah. You I, went to. Uh, you had to message. go. Yeah, you went to. I think you had to go pee, and uh, so I was like, "Oh, probably yeah, water yeah, you the laid, flowers." Yeah, you went to water the flowers, right? And so you went to water flowers. So I said in the comments, 
I said, he, in Tennessee, we say, we got to go pee. We say, I got to go see a man about a dog. And so I said, he went to see a man about a dog. And then you left us sitting there looking at the sky. And then I wrote, if you look at the comments, then I wrote, okay, well, an alien took him. And this is how the video ends. We're all laying here looking at the sky and the aliens took him. John's gone. So we had the, yeah. we were all laughing and, uh, and being uh, comical during your live. You didn't know. You were like, hey, look, I found a rabbit. And we're all like, and we're all like, we're all joking around and making fun and laughing and having a good time. So we had fun. Yeah, I left everything like in a, in a, a one next to the baby next to the to the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We saw you stand the rabbit up. You know, it's coming up Easter. You know, Easter is a god. You know, there's a yeah. there's a god named Easter, and she's very destructive. And we're and here we're coming up to a holiday called Easter. <laughs> People still yeah. don't get it. They're like, I'm like, you guys don't see what they're doing to you. <laughs> Look, did you know what my 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 wife told me when I got home? She said, "Why do you keep bringing those toys home? You know that uh, I don't like it because people put them in the in the dumpsters for a reason. They may be, you know, with bad energies or whatever." And I was like, "Please, that was in the dump. It wasn't." like people were were and she said why do you think they throw them in the dump and i said why do you think a lot of stuff happens to go in the dump because people don't know what things are worth and they don't care sometimes you know it's like people just think about the money you know you know people imagine people uh, the parents uh, die for ima imagine the kid, the sons, they're already old, you know. They have a huge house from their parents. Both their sons or their three sons or whatever already live in a house. They don't need that house. You know what they do? They contract people. They go there. They clean the house. What's worth money? They sell it, the people who go and clean it. What's not worth money? They dump it. Yeah. And that's what happened. People dump the stuff because they don't want it. I found um, one of those uh, jars to water the flowers. That's very old. It's in plastic, but it's very old. We, I don't, I haven't seen one of those jars for watering the flowers for many years. And uh, I'm going to have to heat the bottom part because it's bent. It's not broken nor cracked. But I need to unbent it and put it uh, better. So I'm, it's yeah. going to be, I need maybe a, something to dry the hair, you know, a, a hair dryer to heat up the plastic so that I can put it outside. I'm going to make a video. Okay. But uh, one of those things, it's worth maybe like 10, 15 euros. Yeah. And people threw it away, and it was. I already used it. It's in perfect state. I just need to unbend the, you know, the moss a little bit. Okay. What I'm gonna do is, since we're hour five minutes, let me, oh, give you a tour real quick. Wonderful. Uh, Remember, in Tennessee, we we were gonna do a live of the. Um, about the remedies, the natural remedies. Oh, beautiful. Oh, my God. Wait a second. Let me put. Oh, beautiful, brother. Oh, what a wonderful doggy. What are you doing, Hello. doggy? <laughs> oh, so cutie. Him the doggy the from yesterday. He What's getting her name? some shine, buddy. Yeah, he likes the sun. Yeah, he likes his son. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I love your garden, brother. Good and green this morning. Plants are covered up in weeds. Sun's coming in. Yeah, you need you need a, a warmer weather for the to take the weeds out. I'm gonna start taking the weeds soon as well from my garden. Yeah, we gotta start plowing. Laying eggs. Oh, wonderful. 
Where is mommy? Mommy and baby this morning. She, mama's out with baby somewhere. She's, she's sleeping under a bush. Something. There's my dog. He's doing rolls. <laughs> mama's what a white grass kid. is that on the floor? Is that false grass, right? Yeah, it's just, yeah, because we can't get grass to grow here because of the chickens. So we put down this fake grass, but it helps yep. us, makes it strong. I don't yep, know. Where I know what in. you mean. The, the chickens, they like to rub on the ground. Do you know what I put on the ground, um, Tennessee? Do you know those fences, uh, aluminum fences? Yeah. I put, like the ones you have there, I put them on the ground. Right. And the. The, the chickens cannot uh, screw the grass anymore because they get their nails oh, stuck okay. there. So oh, they like stop uh, rubbing the ground. Start that, yeah. Yeah, but there's some some there's one which is with smaller holes with green green plastic around the metal. Okay. You know which ones I'm talking? Yeah, smaller. Smaller than squares. Yeah, smaller right. squares and with a green plastic. That's ones I, I find those sometimes when I go on my walks and I put them on the ground and I start um, seeding with some grass and then I water them. I put the fence and they grow, man. Right. Oh, can you see that pole you have there for the clothes? Yeah. <laughs> I've got two of them. A friend of mine gave, gave me and I put them <laughs> on my back garden. Yeah, we have this one here. Oh, beautiful. You put a bicycle thing to move the, the things. Awesome idea. Yeah, you move awesome. the clothes. It's a yep. clothesline. Yep. We got those, but they're smaller and they are on apartments and buildings in, in the cities. They use that. Oh, there she comes. Here's mommy. See? With her baby? She was up in the bushes sleeping. Oh, nice. We have some, some nice chickens sometimes. Yeah, she got oh, boots. beautiful. What do you guys want this morning? I ain't got no food for you. She's not afraid of you, right? No. No, that's mommy and baby. Yeah. If you get too close, she does attack you, right? Yeah, not really. I could feed her with my hand right now if I had some food. She don't, She's not scared of us. She knows we awesome. take care of her. They know we yep. protect them. Yep. What? She looks like she's very well treated. She's say say hi to John. Yeah, let's say hi to John. Say hi. That's right. Tell him hi. Hi, John. That's a chicken twist. Put man. many eggs, mommy, mommy chicken. <laughs> They said many eggs, mama, mommy, chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, but yeah, we got to get my shoes on and got to go to work today. Um, yep. Go for it, out, my brother. Plan. Thank you for our wonderful talk. You're welcome. It's good talking to you. This is our... Oh, some drying wood. Yeah, yeah. We just... It really dries fast if you cover it in white plastic. Yep. It will dry. It'll, it'll, it, you know, and the sun is really hot. It'll dry it in a few days and it'll be really. Yeah. I have some, I have some, uh, uh, my tree that I cut. I have some under some plastic. Uh -huh. uh, and it's, um, it's, it's, I'm only going to use it next winter now. Okay, John, I'm going to go get my socks and shoes on. You're going to talk Okay. To big Matt, hugs, my brother. Uh, big hugs to <laughs> Scott. Thank you very much, Scott. Thank you very much for our talk. Yeah, thanks yeah. for, uh, thanks for Guys, so do you think it's cool so then we do a premiere for later on tonight? Yeah, that'll be fine. You can premiere this. Just uh, let what, me know what time what and time, I'll be there. What time do you want me to premiere? Like uh, eight, six, uh, five. Remember, it's four six, hours seven. plus here. Yeah, about six. Is that better for you or is that worse? It's six, it's ten. It's perfect. Ten for him. Yeah, yeah. six o'clock be you. early. That way it'd be ten for you. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. I'll see you That'd at six early. then, okay, brother? All right. Cool.
big hugs, Tennessee, big hugs, Matt, and uh, to Thanks, your wife man. as well, your mommy. And stay blessed, hey. my, my awesome brothers. Love you very much. Right. Love you, John. Love you, John. And the giant Good gives y'all big hugs. John says big hugs to everybody. And Scott gives and you big, big hugs. hugs too. See you soon. Have a wonderful day, my awesome brothers, okay? All right. All right. See you a while. Have a good Love you. See love you, Scott. Scott, uh, say love to Scott and George, okay? Well, dude, they got the love. They feel it. They're loving y'all. So y'all should feel the love. Uh, and give <laughs> me positive vibrations for the seeds, okay? When I plant them again. Heck yeah, most definitely. They're definitely going to begin the positivity. The seeds is all we need right there. I hope they, they, they grow good, my brother. I'm sure Stay they will. Blessed. You as well. Give her time. I will, my brother. <laughs> Big hugs to everybody, okay? Stay safe and um, have a wonderful rest of the week, okay? I'll see you tonight at 6, okay? Sounds good. That's awesome. We're excited. Nice one. And we can answer the questions of if everyone, anyone has, okay? Yeah. Yeah, while it's live, that'd be fun. I'll nice. be on there with Logically Insane, so I might Perfect. try to answer some questions on that side, too. So nice. that'd be good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rest for the rest of the afternoon, man, because yesterday was too rough for me. <laughs> right. Yeah, get your anymore. rest. You got to get your rest. <laughs> you ran it. <laughs> Wonderful, my brother. John P. loves you. Stay blessed, everybody. This is for everybody who's going to join us. Leave a message to everybody who's joining us later, okay, Scott? So, not will. Scott, Matt. Sorry, brother. And I will. Scott, Matt, George, we're all going to leave a message for everybody. No, leave, leave a message, message now for everybody who, who's watching, who just watched. Oh, um... Stay it's true like a to message yourself. to the future. Stay true to yourself. That's all you 100%. need to know. That's as far as you need to go. Stay true to yourself and you're going to do great. Just keep the positivity going. Life's always a venture. <laughs> That's what we want. Strong. Thank you very much, my brother. See you soon, okay? John cool, P. Man. loves you. Matt loves you. <laughs> Bless. Tennessee, Kentucky loves you. Bless you. <laughs>